Hi, this is Mark Lowry. Welcome back to Tales from the Shed. Today I'm going to talk about my brand new book, Eating Chips with Monkey, which is out in at the beginning of April 2020. Uh, it's got this fabulous print cover um, by Chris Jevons, a uh, wonderful, talented artist. And there you can see it probably back to um, It's all about some really important stuff like family and dealing with a crisis and fish and chips of course um i love fish and chips i wrote this when thinking constantly about when i was a kid and we'd bring the my dad would bring all the fish and chips home and shove them on the kitchen counter and everybody shoving their fists in there and grabbing mouthfuls of them and moaning about who's got the most and the windows would be all steamy and we fighting over the tomato sauce and all that kind of stuff I just think it's a wonderful family comfort food, um, so quintessentially British. I also love the idea of, uh, I, I also wrote it with the idea of a, a, a toy that comes to life as well, and a, a, a toy that's real for one of the characters, and this is my son's monkey, and I just love its big fat head. And um, anyway, so I, I kind of tried to put these ideas together, and it's about this family who uh, suffer a terrible crisis and as a result they decide to make everything better by going on a tour of Britain's best chip shops to find the best one. Uh, I'll read you a couple of pages and uh, see what you think. Uh, outside the heavenly cod fish and chip shop Preston, Megan. I'm in the middle of a whirlpool struggling for breath while the world swirls around me threatening to swallow me swallow me up. There was a screech, a crunch, a terrible wet thud. I think I screamed, but now I'm standing over him, frozen and numb. The headlights of the car cast Daniel's shadow long into the road, arms and legs twisted at weird angles. His duffel coat's ridden up at the back, and the skin underneath is angry, red and shiny, like it's been peeled off. Chips and bits of fish are scattered about the tarmac among the broken fragments of his magnifying glass. Now Dad's run out the chip shop, and he's kneeling next to him, holding his hand, telling him, everything's gonna be okay, Big D. Driver's out of the car and hopping about. He just ran from nowhere. How could I have stopped? Mum's rushing over, barking into a mobile for an ambulance, and Grandma's hob hobbling behind her. Dad clicks his fingers. Monkey. His voice is shaky, urgent. He doesn't look up, so it takes me a few seconds to realise he's talking to me. Daniel's cuddly toy monkey is lying in the gutter, the one he takes everywhere with him, the one he's had since he was a baby. Moving like I'm floating, I pick it up and wipe the grip from the permanently soggy hand that Daniel likes to suck for comfort. Monkey is not looking good. Its leather jacket and sunglasses are scuffed and its I heart New York t-shirt is all dirty. Its tail's been torn off and a wisp of white stuffing hangs out of a hole in its bottom. I hand the toy to Dad. Its arms and legs dangle limply. Without looking at me, he places it carefully next to Daniel's face and strokes his cheek. We're gonna help you, he says. You've had a little accident, Monkey's with you, and he lost his tail, look. Somehow Daniel has managed to hold on to his notebook. I ease it out of his hand and put it in my pocket for safekeeping. Give Monkey's hand a kiss, Daniel says to him. Daniel's eyes flicker open and for a moment he almost smiles. He groans, mutters something and puts Monkey's hand in his mouth. Then he softly closes his eyes again. Daniel, everything hurts and I'm awake, asleep, floaty, falling and bright lights. Is this the white feeling or is it the grey and there's something on my cheek? I open my eyes which I didn't know were shut and the whole world is blurred and sideways and half of my face is cold and wet and look at that how did monkey get right in front of me is everything gonna be okay big d monkey croaks and this is very strange and very exciting what with him being a cuddly toy and isn't it funny that he's got an American accent not that I have sorry about that are there any chips left? I ask, but I don't know if the words even come out of my mouth. And Monkey doesn't answer. He just goes, ah, and screws up his face. And I realise he's in pain. And I feel turquoise, which is guilty because I didn't notice. And I say, Monkey, what's wrong? And he says, you got to help me. I've been in an accident. It's my tail. Give me a, my hand a kiss, man. So I do. And then everything goes. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you want to read on. You can get it from all good bookshops, online or in-store. Take care. Bye-bye.